This is another live radio link up brought to you by the government communications GCIS. 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 Welcome to it. This being our special broadcast brought to you courtesy of Government Communication and Information System, the GCIS. My name is Karabal Lanza. Thank you so much for joining us. We're bringing you this broadcast because uh, we want to be of help to you with regards to a phenomenon that's taking place. A lot of people talking about it. It's on all over the media, really. It's on television, it's on radio, newspapers, uh, social media is picking it up. They're talking about Cyclone Dineo. And uh, we're going to be finding out a little bit more about that. Joining me in the studio is Ndade Mapa Kaftau, Deputy Director General Heads National Disaster Management Centre at Kokta. Ndade Dau, thank you so much uh, for coming through. My pleasure. Thank you very much. And of course, uh, not forgetting Ndade Tsepongobeni. He's the Senior Manager uh, Weather Forecasting at South African Weather Services. Ndade Ngobeni. Thank you very much, Karawa. We're talking about this phenomenon called Cyclone Dineo. And uh, maybe let's start with the basics, just to explain exactly what a cyclone is. Uh, basically, uh, Karabo, a tropical cyclone is a localized, uh, very intense, low-pressure wind system forming over the tropical ocean with a wind speed of about hurricane force. Hurricane force is about 117 kilometers per hour. Right. Maybe let's paint a picture, really. <laughs> We're talking about speeds, and something tells me that the more the speed, the more intense the system is. And uh, we are more used to speeds inland. Um, if you can just give us a picture, people from Cape Town will say we've got more, more wind speeds than, than everybody in the rest of the country. So on average, what speeds are we talking about that are comfortable to us or that are we, we, we were used to? And we just want to compare it to, to the one that we're talking about, Cyclone Dineo. Yeah. Basically, um, like the South African Weather Service on a daily basis, we issue alerts or rather the warnings of uh, gale force winds. And gale force winds, um, they are the winds up to the speed of or from the speed of 65 kilometers per hour, of which they are very much significant. They will have impact along the coast and over the interior. So you can imagine that the hurricane force winds now, the 117 kilometers per hour, almost double. The, the the speed that we are used to on daily basis. Yeah, so that's, that's it sounds very very intense there. Maybe let me take a couple of steps back and say, uh, is this a joke? A lot of people are talking about it, and you can tell on social media. Other people are saying, nah, this will never happen in South Africa. Uh, this is just a, a joke. People are just trying to be funny. Is this real? Is Cyclone Dineo happening? Yes, indeed, Cyclone Dineo is happening. Uh, people over the Mozambique, I think they're already feeling the presence of tropical cyclones in now. If you watch over several medias, you'll be seeing the news and all those guys are um, affected. And the tropical cyclones now, the now, because it's, sorry, the uh, tropical cyclones, the now, um, it will hit uh, the Mozambique uh, land uh, today the 15th at around 8 p.m. according to our prediction and uh, tomorrow of which it will be the 16th the Thursday um, this dinero uh, will affect South African areas now mainly the, uh, the province of Limpopo and the province of Mpumalanga but over the extreme uh, northern parts and uh, moving over Friday morning uh, the area of Lim uh, the eastern part of Limpopo it will all, almost be flooded, the whole eastern part, including the northern parts. And on the 18th, uh, that will be on Saturday, then we expect the nail to move over Botswana. Okay. So in other words, we need to gear up and be safe and uh, try to get... Maybe talking about safety and so forth, let's talk a little bit more about some tips <coughs> that you can give us in terms of... Uh, when this system occurs, what is it that you can do to make sure that we're safe? Maybe you can jump in there, Ntatito. Thank you very much. Um, uh, we, as a country, administer what we call the Disaster Management Act, and and the Act uh, promotes uh, prevention, preparedness, and mitigation. And therefore, it is important that uh, when we heard of this uh, impending uh, situation. We, we begin to uh, identify things that our communities need to know which are important for their safety. Uh, those uh, uh, are identified based on the fact that 
this incident will have strong winds which could have destructive effects uh, both on trees on properties and, and and secondly that they are likely to result with uh, localized um, or, and riverine flooding incidents so the tips that uh, we would like to give uh, are the following uh, that one if walking outdoors uh, avoid crossing rivers and swollen streams where water is above your angles it's very important that people should observe that secondly just people should know that just six inches of fast moving flood water can knock a person off so it is important that that should be uh, respected Th thirdly never try to walk swim or drive through fast moving flood water uh, stop turn around and go another way if you start to see an over flooded area um, the other issue is people need to listen to special warnings and radio uh, on radio and television because continually there's a broadcast of uh, weather information so our people should observe that the <clears throat> other issue is that uh, when at risk abandon your home immediately uh, if evacuation is recommended before access is cut off by flood water uh, sometimes people stick to their homes um, and those homes become risky areas for them so they should be prepared to evacuate those areas uh, to go to places of safety but of course they will be guided by the uh, authorities and having observed the warnings the other issue is that never drive into water covering the road because you don't know how deep uh, that would be um, and, and 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 the other one is if the vehicle stalls uh, uh, leave it immediately and seek higher ground so that you can be safe so the the these are important considerations and we must always make sure that we also prioritize uh, the elderly uh, the disabled people living with disability or the disabled um, and and of course children who may not be able to assist or help themselves mm -hmm. thank you the, the, the government's response to all of this government as i indicated has this progressive piece of legislation called disaster management act uh, as soon as we uh, are presented with a situation that threatens um, the safety of our of our people and and infrastructure we immediately uh, uh, consult authorities or stakeholders uh, who are involved in disaster risk management practices uh, yesterday upon receiving the, the 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 information we activated what we call net joints net joints is a forum of um, uh, different interested stakeholders such as military saps um, uh, and the communication uh, sections we invited other departments that are also still to come on board so so as to develop a plan uh, a contingency plan that will 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 be um, implemented in 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 dealing with the situation we have had that meeting from nine o'clock this morning and uh, out of that meeting we emerged with um, a decision to activate what we call prof uh, joints that means counterpart structures at provincial level particularly targeting the affected provinces uh, or p provinces that will be affected such as Mpumalanga, Limpopo and, and, and KZN. So we have activated those structures and we have requested those structures to submit um, operational plans um, as a matter of agency as this will be considered tomorrow when our net joints uh, uh, convenes. This is to make sure that we continually are monitoring the situation and supporting uh, provinces. We have also uh, liaised with our counterparts in, in, in Mozambique uh, to establish how far they've gone also with, with, with the preparations. And uh, we can report that they are also advanced with preparations and they are on the ground. Uh, it should also be pointed out that our minister, Honorable Minister um, Des Van Royen, is also coordinating um, with uh, uh, peace counterparts to ensure that there's a strong political leadership uh, of this particular intervention. So this is how far we are um, on the matter. Thank you. All right.
I think uh, last but not least, uh, if people maybe are looking for contact details, where they're seeking information, maybe where they're seeking help, um, what contact um, details or what contact points can they reach? Uh, maybe let's start with um, telephone numbers, if there are any. Okay. For I'll only give for the provinces that are likely to be affected. Mm -hmm. From Pumalanga, um, the head of the Provincial Disaster Management Center is Mr. Slaiki Ludru. And uh, he can be reached on uh, 082-447-6001. can repeat that, 082-447-6001. And for Limpopo province, uh, the contact person who's the head is Miss Esme Magwaza. And she can also be contacted on 082 Four nine seven one zero seven one. I repeat zero eight two four nine seven one zero seven one. And for KwaZulu Natal province, the head of the center is Mr. John Didlazi, uh, and he can be contacted on zero eight two two six zero three zero eight one. I repeat zero eight two. Two six zero three zero eight one. Thank right. you. So those are the contact details uh, that you can use in those specific provinces uh, where with regards to uh, what we're talking about here, the cyclone de Neo that's uh, uh, being anticipated to, to come inland, uh, maybe not inland so far, but uh, the shores of um, South Africa. Dadangobeni, as far as SA Weather Services is concerned, are there going to be any updates on, on your site and, and stuff like that? Or maybe even contact details if you have? Um, yes, definitely. We'll be updating the information on a daily basis. Um, the, our website, it will be very much useful, uh, which is www.weathersa.co.za. And for any other inquiries, uh, people are welcome to phone 012-367-6041, which is the uh, telephone number of our National Forecasting Office. The voice of uh, Mr. Tsepon Gobeni, Senior Manager of uh, Weather Forecasting at the SA Weather Services, as well as Ntate Mapaka Tau, uh, Deputy Director General, Heads and National Disaster Management Centre at Cogta. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time and uh, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.